Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. This is Fumibi here again with another tutorial. In today's video, I'll be sharing the embellishment process of this gorgeous, gorgeous outfit made by Daft Court on Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and link her handle on the screen, so feel free to go follow her. If you'd be interested in learning this very simple embellishment style, please make sure you watch this video all the way through. Like, share and subscribe. Let's get started. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. This is for B here again with another tutorial. At the point of filming this video, we are gradually, slowly and steadily coming close to 40,000 subscribers. And I don't know, I've just been filming a bunch of content because the coming months are going to be really, really busy for me. And I just, any small opportunity I get now, I just film videos. So at the point of posting this particular tutorial that I'm about to share with us, I don't know if we've already surpassed 40,000, but thank you guys so much. I don't know if I've thanked you guys, I mean, for hitting 40,000. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. When I started my channel in 2020, it was just for vibes, right? And to think that this has become a major thing in my life, it has grown tremendously. It's amazing. All glory and thanks goes to God, first of all. And I thank you guys as well. Thank you for just falling in love with me without even knowing me without even you know you guys don't owe me anything but you guys go out of your way to support me and cheer me on it's amazing and i pray that the lord god as well meets each and every one of us at the points of our needs in jesus name amen all right guys now that i've done all that vote of thanks in today's video i have an embellishment tutorial for you guys at the intro i must have shared with us the particular creator or fashion designer now that gave me the inspiration for this particular video her name on instagram is called daft's court most of all these people that i come on here with i don't have any personal relationship with them they just pop up on my explore page i'm inspired by what they post and i come on here to teach you guys how to also do some of the things that i've seen them doing and also just plug them in so you guys can as well go to their pages and support them in that particular video she was sharing the behind the scene footage of a particular outfit that she made for i think a new mom a mother of triplets because i went down a page and i saw that that particular dress was worn by a woman for her baby dedication and she had triplets and if you guys don't know i'm also praying for triplets i like the idea of having multiple children if i have twin moms or triplet moms on the channel let me know let's know ourselves down in the comment section i'm praying that god also blesses me with either twins or triplets so best believe that i was you know captivated by that particular video but the part where i knew that you guys would want me to plug you in is in the embellishment on that particular dress along the under bust and waist area i saw that this daft's court designer went ahead to use top chain to embellish that particular outfit i've come on here to share a vine tutorial and when i say vine it's just i think i'm going to plug that video on the screen where i showed us how to bead like a vine pattern and that particular video it was inspired by vicky james my mentor extraordinaire i did something like this in that particular video and i went ahead to bid on it however that's caught gave us another idea this time instead of bidding on these vine patterns that i have right here on my own little piece of fabric she did this kind of pattern all over the waist area slash under bust area of that outfit and she went ahead to use cup chain to just cover up those markings that she has done and the end result like we saw at the intro of this video looked phenomenal so in today's video i'm just going to give us a quick little tutorial on that so what you want to do first of all is to do your markings i have my fabric pencil for those that are curious i got this fabric pencil off of aliexpress i am a very ardent shopper on aliexpress i buy a lot of things jewelry supplies and all of that on aliexpress and i shared how to shop on there in a different video i'll do my best to link that video on the screen so after you must have drawn out your pattern on your fabric okay imagine that this is a dress and you want to you can even do this on the bust area you can do it on the hem of your dress any part of the outfit that you're trying to embellish you can even if it's something else you are going for completely go off and incorporate this into whatever it is they are trying to design the next thing you want to do is to take your cup chain and start to determine the amount of cup chain you need to cover up each portion of your vine so i see from here to here i need about this long for my cup chain i'm just going to hold that now and grab my scissors i want to use my blunt scissors to cut my cup chain i don't want to use my sharp one so i want to find so i'll just cut this now okay and then place it here just so i remember what each one is for then come to this other one as well on this uh, this tutorial is very very easy 
come here as well determine okay this is the quantity i need cut it again and place here come to this other vine as well my camera timed out but this is what we have here so these are the quantities of cup chain that i'll be needing to embellish this particular piece of vine that i've drawn out so imagine doing this all over your outfit to so attach this to what you've done for me i'm going to be working with my fabric glue okay i'm going to be working with this b7000 glue that i have here if you are doing this on an outfit i'll suggest that you first of all glue this onto the fabric and then go ahead to just do simple tacking in strategic points just to make sure that even when your your client decides to maybe dry clean when talking about luxury out, outfits okay i'm going to digress a little bit i see comment section from people saying oh outfits that are heavily embellished like this how do people wash them you can't spend one million naira on an outfit and be taking using your hand to wash that clothes it, the mat is not matting right if you have a luxury outfit you've spent good money making that outfit a little token to take to your dry cleaner should not be a problem right invest in dry cleaning when you have a luxury outfit don't go and throw a luxury outfit inside your washing machine and let your washing machine rough handle it don't go and soak it inside water and be using your hand to scrub it it's not done right so when you have a luxury outfit if you spend significant amount of money on sewing an outfit take it to your dry cleaner your dry cleaners know how to professionally wash the clothes and make sure that everything your stones and everything are sitting perfectly and remember i said professional dry cleaners don't just take it to someone that is calling himself or herself a dry cleaner and they will still go to the backyard of the building to go and be using their hands to wash the clothes go to a proper standard place where you know that okay they know what they are doing and they're professional dry cleaners take it there and they will wash your clothes delicately all right now that i've said all of that i'm just going to move this aside and then use my fabric glue i'm working with the b7000 glue to just glue down everything that I've placed here. And like I always say when working with fabric glue, remember to always cover it up. After each use, I talked to you guys about how I found myself spending ridiculous amounts of money buying fabric glue too frequently because it will dry up on me because I have not been doing a good job at covering it appropriately. So now I'm also going to apply my glue here and here as well and then grab this place it here grab this as well place it here I know someone in the comment section might be wondering oh if I'm doing this on an outfit how do I do it with a body form for this particular work like you guys saw the footage that I put at the intro you saw that the person doing the embellishment spread the cloth on their cutting or work table depending on what you choose to call that type of table so you spread the outfit on your work table and then start to embellish it. You can't put it on, you can't put the outfit on a dress form and be trying to achieve something like this. It will stress you out and it will almost be impossible, right? So just get a large work table. I believe if you're a fashion designer, you already own a work table. Spread the cloth on a work table and start embellishing, okay? You see what we have here? Imagine doing this all over an outfit. It will look absolutely stunning. And like I said, this particular style of embellishment, you can do it on the chest area of your dress, on the waist area, the under bust, anywhere, even on the bust. You can just get the breast cups and arrange your cup chain in a very aesthetically pleasing way all over the breast cup and the outfit will look fabulous. Like I said, when this dries down, I could have easily gone ahead to grab my beading needle and thread and just sew maybe in between all these spaces that we have in between the cup chain just sew here 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 somewhere that will just make sure that even if the glue starts to fail after a while your sewing will serve as a backup you know form of reinforcement for your work so this is what we have here i'm also going to put the inspiration of this particular tutorial on the side just so you see how something like this will turn out if you ever go ahead to incorporate it into your design if you found this quick little tutorial valuable please be sure to hit the like button okay let me know that you enjoyed watching by hitting the like button also feel free to share this video with a friend if you have someone a fashion designer friend or someone that just likes this type of stuff that would enjoy this type of content share with them if you're still not subscribed please 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 do well to hit that subscribe button it would make me very very happy 
happy. I would love to meet you. If you are new here, you can just drop a comment in the comment section so I can welcome you officially to the family. Thank you guys so much again for watching this video. If you have questions for me, please be sure to drop it down in the comment section. And yeah, friends, I can't wait to see you in another tutorial very, very soon. Bye-bye.